Hey, it's Pete here and I'm back for another FunBridge tournament. I'll show you how to get in. Now you want to log in to uh, funbridge.com, uh, go over to get started slash practice. And uh, then you want to go down to exclusive tournaments and then click view all tournaments, search for BridgeVid or Pete Hollands. Uh, taking out the top spot today is Goma Pile plus 31. Tur Turgeminator plus 30 and Sedgwick plus 27, rounding out the top three. So we'll give it a shot. And from last week. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Uh, we'll try for about there. So last last week, my my big fat head covered some of the uh, spades when they were dummy. So uh, if I'm ever defending, I have to check if uh, I've managed to dodge covering that. So hopefully this will do. Um, on to board number one. Part my opponent's open one heart. I got fifteen points. He could bid two diamonds, but one no trump seems a fantastic description of this. Uh, partner's two no trumps is Leban Soul, so they're just asking me to bid three clubs. And they're showing um, just like five card spades, and it says that it's forcing. I'd usually play this as like invitational, because like I don't know how they'd play like just bidding three spades. I'd usually have that be as forcing, so we'll go to three no. All right. Um, okay. Eight points there. We've got a 10 card diamond fit. So 15 and eight is 23. 17 missing. Uh, it's like 11 and six, 12 and five, something like that. Um, I've got two spades, a club, a diamond. I can build extra tricks in diamonds. I can build extra tricks uh, in spades. I wanna see if they continue hearts or do they shift? So they continue. So I'll just finesse here. Okay, loving to see the king of diamonds. Oh. <laughs> uh, so they switched to their king, king doubleton diamond. Uh, so my diamond discard really helped there. Um, okay, so that's five of their points. So uh, they had four of the, yeah, five of their points. I'm pretty sure East has um, the king of clubs. East will have, uh, yeah. Now me discarding a diamond meant that I can't get the uh, beer card easily, but uh, I'm just gonna cross over and finesse a club. And I wanna just check to see if the, uh, <laughs> that the, um, if the queen of spades falls. I don't think it will. Oh, it did, did. And the beauty of this, like I had the rest of the tricks. The beauty of this, is the beer card comes back into play. So I can unblock a diamond there and uh, let's go back over. Uh, we can then uh, take our hearts. Hi Ritalin, hi David, thanks for coming in. It's not often you get to drop a Doubleton Queen just to open up winning the seven of diamonds with the final trick. So uh, beautiful beer card just to finish things off. And uh, 11 tricks. So cool hand to start with. All right. Am I covering anything important here? Doesn't look like it. <laughs> uh, so we got plus three imps. Some people uh, managed to double three hearts. Um, what sort of auctions did they have? Uh, their partner opened two spades for spades and a minor. So that would do it. Definitely be keen to uh, um, <laughs> double three hearts given the shot. Ritalin said, hope that's not today's dose of luck you stop. Ah, well, you know, I, I think it was worthwhile even if it is my uh, only dose of luck. You have to put a higher premium on those beer cards. Um, you know, like, it would have been a lot easier to make that beer card if I didn't throw a diamond away, but maybe they wouldn't have switched to the king of diamonds. Um, I don't know why they switched to the King of Diamonds anyway. Uh, we've got 14 high card points and a five card suit. So I'm just going to go ahead and open a no trump. Uh, my partner Stamond and they got in with two hearts. Don't have anything really to say. Uh, three diamonds here. Non-forcing bid, five card diamonds. Um, right. 
Okay, well, if that's... An, I, I wasn't expecting this to be non-forcing. I, I was... I, I thought this would be, um, like, a forcing hand with um, spades and diamonds. Kind of shocked that there's non-forcing. But if it is, seeing as I've already upgraded it into 14, I'll pass. Hi, m and Alaska. How are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Uh. <laughs> Between seven and eight points, this is a non-forcing bit. If I didn't read that, I would have just like, yeah, partner's trying to slam try with diamonds and spades here. But look at me reading the description, getting absolutely punished here. Um, partner's got 14 points and decided that uh, it's non-forcing. I don't like... I kind of like the fact that my partner stamened and bid three diamonds. I just think that this description up here is completely ridiculous. And the fact that I was sub minimum, we're like, okay, I'll trust it. I won't just pot shot like a three no trumps or something. Um, all right, so here we are in three diamonds, uh, east over called hearts. That could be a singleton club. Um, I have two spade losers, a heart loser. Uh, maybe a diamond loser if things don't break. Um, I can try throwing my heart and spade on the clubs. But I probably want to try and trump one. So I might go ahead and just trump a spade early on. Um, I really don't think that there's any chance of getting roughed there. So we'll start with that. Okay, and they didn't rough in. I would have thought that maybe, uh, um, I thought that maybe they would have uh, tr trumped and like forced out my queen. Uh, yeah, no, nah, the, the beer card's not in play. Uh, if, uh, if diamonds is ever the trump suit, there's uh, no beer cards allowed because it's, it's considered too easy. Um, all right, so we'll just draw those and ditch that. Um, let's see if the clubs come into play. They do. Like, maybe I should have finessed the uh, the 10 there. Um, anyway, I'll just exit a uh, heart. East will win, they can't get to their spade. Um, so I can just uh, finesse the... Um, the club now. So a beautiful 170 points made the hard way. Minus seven imps. I wasn't alone there. A handful of people got to, uh, it's kind of funny that like you're not alone with <laughs> 36 people when you've got 28 high card points. There's a few comments on this deal. All right, so back to board one, what do people say? If one has the convention 5M4 and your partner, it's two spades, you make an easy double of the three heart over call. Knowing that the robot takes you out of three no to five diamonds when you clearly must get... Not sure how they did that. Arjun's bidding was unexplainable. Three diamonds says seven or eight points, non-forcing. Okay, I pass. What? Make sure you report the deal so it's fixed. Yeah. Yeah. Basically, people are saying report it. Um, yeah, that was a, a pretty uh, poor description they had uh, there. But uh, currently, we're minus four after that. So we'll move on to board number three. And here we've got a flat 15 count, so one no trump. Uh, Stamen. Okay. All right. Uh, we've got three heart winners, three clubs, and two diamonds is eight. We want to build some extra tricks in diamonds. Uh, spades, we can set up one by force quick perusal of diamonds and I don't have the seven of diamonds. Um, well, 
What, what diamonds am I missing? Uh, queen nine seven. So if that's a singleton, I'm always losing two more diamonds, I think. Uh, but the main issue is it's hard. Like if there's queen jack double turn, I just want to drop it. Um, but if there's four one split, um, I want to give up a diamond now because of my entry issues to the south hand. Okay, so that cost a trick. All right, uh, so my diamonds are all good. Um, let's just build a spade trick while I've still got a stopper. And we got the rest. Could have made one more, so probably lose an imp. Yeah, it was Queen Jack Doubleton. Flat board. Okay, so I didn't lose an imp, but uh, enough people are making plus one, so effectively I lost an imp. Interesting that sometimes Arjean can false card. Playing Ace of Diamonds, Arjean followed with the Jack. I thought restricted choice and crossed to dummy and finessed losing to the Queen. With a doubleton like that, she always used to play the queen, but seems to play randomly now. Good improvement. It's good that they uh, do um, can false card there. Okay, uh, a diamond, a double, three diamonds. I've got a pretty decent hand. I kind of want partner to, um, yeah, take out. Yeah, I just want to compete to three of a major here. We pushed them up to four diamonds. That's even better. Okay. I did manage to get my head out of the way, which is a good placement. Um, all right. King of spades lead. So dummy's got uh, five, oh, one, three, five, four. Um, looks like spades are four, 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 one. I uh, I don't know if they'll take signals, um, but when there's a singleton in dummy, I like to do suit preference. So I played a moderately high spade there. Um, okay, so diamonds are five five two one. So West has four spades, five diamonds. So there's only four cards in the uh, rounded suits. Um, okay, we've got one heart. Okay, no, I'll overtake it, doesn't matter. Yeah. All right, uh, so they had two hearts, they've got one club left. So we go in with the king here in case it's the 10 and they got the rest. Okay, plus two imps, we're on the improve. So moving on to board number five. 10 high card points, my partner opened a spade. I wanna just show an invitational raise, so I'll just bid uh, three clubs. Partner's happy to give four spades a go. We're vulnerable against not, so bidding game's good. Uh, an, a common misconception I actually see people say is like, oh, I'm vulnerable, I'm a bit hesitant to bid game. That's actually the wrong way of, of approaching it. When you're vulnerable, you really want to try and stretch to bid game. Uh, this being said, it looks like I'm probably not making this one. I've got 12 opposite 10. We've only got uh, 22 points. Uh, I have a club loser, a diamond loser, and three heart losers. Um, so what could I potentially do to reduce my losers? Did I see three clubs say game forcing? Does say game forcing. I'm surprised about that. I didn't read that. I got as far as at least 10 points. <laughs> like those two things don't correlate to, for me. Right? Um, yeah. Okay. So they probably would have bid three spades if it, I didn't make a game force. Um. All right, so I need to make my tenor clubs good to throw a diamond away or something. J 
Jack. Didn't. There's a lot of clubs missing. So he still overcalled two clubs, had a seven card club suit to the ace jack. All right, so definitely not making this one. So we're looking at damage mitigation. So we just want to draw trumps. Okay, one more out there. All right, so my heart might come good if hearts are three, three. It looks like maybe they are. Uh, so yeah, I think uh, the king's here and the jack's probably here. Yeah, so my heart's a winner. So rough and discard and uh, float down too. So yeah, lose three amps. Other people are just in four clubs. So they jumped to three spades, which was like eight to 10, a fit and an invitational land. I don't know how the robots uh, raise in competitive auctions here. So I'll have to learn that at some stage. Or not. Yeah, I have no idea. I don't know how that works. I don't really have much to bid on this hand. They are. Forno was just uh, quantitative, so I'm not sure why they bid five clubs. Um, they're showing five card clubs and uh, a willingness to accept. All right. I don't think I want to bid at the seven level, so we'll just pass. Um, I got the ace of clubs, which is good. Um, the jack of hearts might cause some grief to West if they have to keep going. I just want to lead uh, passively here. What do we got? Uh, 10, 20 points opposite 14, 34. So my partner's got like one point. Um, maybe I can hope my partner's got the queen of clubs or something. I'll just duck to try and cut some communication issues. Interesting. Some partners got a singleton queen. We'll put them back in with a spade. Do they have one more heart? Oh, we get a heart trick. Fabulous. Okay. Plus eight imps. We're back in positive. We did make it. Um, some people doubled six no trumps. Didn't seem like a, a great choice. Some people, the opponents made six no trumps against. Um, so obviously they didn't keep their hearts. Um, I think that me ducking the club, they could have... Uh, if they like me ducking a club gave them a double dummy chance of just being able to duck the next club to me i also think some people might have just taken the ace of clubs and if you lead the ace of clubs uh, they've got ample discards there uh leading aces against slams usually a decent thing to do um but it's not something you really want to do when they've shown like a five card suit there the nine of hearts uh so that allowed them to finesse the heart Yes. Anyway, I'll take a handy eight imps. Moving on to board seven. Uh, 11 highs. So I got two, five, four shapes. So I'll uh, keep bidding there. And I get two, four spades. Um, so here, West has good clubs. East has good spades. This is a hand where what they're going to do is draw trumps and run the club suit. So we want to be aggressive in trying to get our tricks. So I definitely don't want to lead a passive black suit. 
Um, we have bid and raised hearts, but if my partner doesn't have the king of hearts, maybe I don't want to do that. So I think a diamond's reasonable. Ace of hearts is also reasonable. Um, I think we're actually more likely to be able to set up some length in diamonds, and our best bet for trying to actually beat this is if East has the king of hearts and we get like two hearts and two diamonds or something. So I might uh, try a diamond lead. Okay, well, it worked so far. Okay, I'll just cash that before it goes away on the clubs. Okay, I think that worked like remarkably well. <laughs> East had the king of hearts, all that happened, wanted to get partner in. And I got three diamonds and uh, two there. But like one of the things that I do here is on the opening lead, try and make a plan of how you're actually going to uh, beat the contract. Um, and I figured if partner had the king of hearts, like we might get two hearts and what, like one diamond or something. So that seemed a bit far away. So. Plus two imps. Uh, some people are bidding it more. Uh, so, like, partner has queen, ten, fourth club. This hand has, like, a remarkably weak hand. Uh, like, they've got a two spade bid, but you'd usually expect them to be a little bit better than this. Uh, so, um, they just uh, spade lead. And what the opponents can't set up clubs because the club's offside. And if you just sit back and wait. So uh, the passive lead still worked, but for me, it felt like they were going to draw trumps and run clubs. And they almost can do it, um, but partners, queen of clubs got in the way. Uh, anyway, we're up to plus five going on to the final board. Got seven high card points, nothing a bit here. A heart, two diamonds, three clubs. Three spades was just forcing, fourth suit forcing. Partner said, well, West said uh, more hearts. He said, okay, let's key card on hearts. Oh, okay. Uh, so. Oh, I was on lead. Um, zero or three key cards. And they've got the Queen of Trumps. So looks like West might have Ace King Queen to six hearts and Ace of Clubs and King of Spades. So they've got two spades, two diamonds, Five hearts, two clubs. What if I got six hearts? Six, two, two, two. All right, so that I've, I can only immediately count 11 or 12 tricks. There's some chance that West only has a five card heart suit. So. All right, so West has ace, king, queen of hearts, ace of clubs. Um, I don't know about the jacks. Uh, they're a fair chance to be able to set up the long diamonds anyway. I... See what happens in hearts. Okay, so they're trumping here, so my spades can go away. All right. Uh, so they threw one diamond. Uh, they could finesse my club. Um, if I ditch a diamond, they can go ace, king of diamonds, rough a diamond. Uh, my partner's only got three diamonds, so we'll let go of a club here. And I guess at this stage, just, uh, Yeah, so if I threw a club, my queen of clubs would have fallen under the ace king. So sort of got squeezed there, um, which made it feel awful. 
They did have six hearts. Really needed them just to have five. Um, anyway, uh, that one was flat. Everyone had them bid seven hearts against them, basically. So the robots did uh, good bidding. I was hoping I'd have a chance to close the cap on that board. Oh, well. Um, yeah, so overall, uh, well done to Gamer Pile, plus 31. I finished with uh, plus five. Um, board two, that was a bit of a shame. Um, other than that, I was pretty happy with everything I did. Uh, board five, the agreements were a little bit weird as well. Uh, but overall, pretty happy with uh, what I was doing on those. Thanks all for watching. Hope you enjoyed uh, this Funbridge tournament, and we'll see you next time. Bye for now.